welcome back guys to episode 2 of Jolian's Justice guys and today we are here for round 4, 5 and 6 of the F1 2016 season guys and unfortunately I I may have accidentally deleted the first part of the season because I forgot to you know actually use Grand Prix mode sensibly There's so like from now on hopefully three. to the end of the season I will remember to not delete all the tracks but basically at the end of obviously every episode I will have to make a new point standings there as I think have I, I've accidentally forgot Mexico um, oopsie daisy but hopefully you know this obviously we had a fairly strong showing uh, last time out as well so hopefully you know we can we can have another good race out tonight guys but we've got 18 rounds left of the season obviously driving as Julian Palmer guys if you missed out on the first episode of the series guys I would highly recommend going back and checking it out guys but it's five lap races uh, one shot quality and hopefully we can have as good a showing this time as we did last time but we'll, we'll have to wait and see on to start the run though and I've already noticed Jesus Christ Hamilton what is that run like, don't be wrong, I'm down into last, because I accidentally noticed the grass, but that's ridiculous. He's already got about a second lead. Well, over me, anyway. Bottas takes the lead. I'm seeing that straight line speed, Williams. P14 at the moment. P13. P12. We're actually making positions down a straight. What is this? P13. No, it was too good to be true. And we're going to lose all our positions again. Into the final sector we go. Just got to try and nail this final sector off the lap. I'd like to think you know, we could still get top 10, and that'd be pretty good after the appalling rundown to the Ulster one that we had. Just try and take my alternate line through there that gives you a good run through most of it, but a terrible run out. Which is probably not ideal, but throw it into the final couple of corners. We're massively wide there. Oopsie daisy, we'll, we'll track extend there. Up towards the line, though. Where do we. P8. Happy with that. Yep, the team happy with that as well. Look at that. Separating the Williams cuts. Three thousandths quicker than Felipe Massa. <laughs> Rosberg and Ricardo tied, so Ricardo probably feels robbed at that one. But we're, we're only a second off the pace once again, and my teammate Kevin Magnussen's down in P18 there. So not exactly a perfect run from him, but let's move on then. Into the... Ru Into the Russian Grand Prix. Clearly, he hasn't seen the McLaren Honda if he thinks they're all fast racing cars. But P8 on the grid, ready for the Russian Grand Prix. And with a long run down towards turn one, if we nail the start, we could be hassling the front runners. But it's five lights for the Russian Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. Charlie White is wasting no time there. And Felipe Massa jumped on that like a cat. We got the full scene here trying to go down the inside. That's not ideal. They've just completely sandwiched me there. Warning collision with Perez. We've, we've got illegal overtakes. We have got illegal overtakes, so I'm just going to try and hold on. Oh no, it doesn't want to let me keep them. Come on, get through, get through, get through. There we are. Illegal overtake on Bottas. I'm losing positions. Back past Felipe Massa there, but we had a really good start until the moment that the FIA decided that we weren't allowed a really good start. I reckon I should be allowed to keep those positions, I won't lie. But we're still in the points in the Renault. That's all that matters. Although I do want to try and get a race win at some point. Like, that's the aim. Race win. And I think, you know, we've already had a podium this season. I think... Did we have one or did we have two first time out? I can't even remember. Come on. Good run. Do I go down the inside into the final corner? Yeah, why not? Even though that was not really well done. But up, we made the position in the end. And we basically just about put the nose on the inside of Perez there. And he's going to have a brilliant run. Down, he's giving me a push! Jesus Christ, that was a huge crash. What, did we lose three wheels there? Uh, right, let's have a look then. So we go, we turn in towards someone, he just gives me a push, just pushes me into the inside wall. We lost three wheels! That's got to be some sort of record without mods. Right, let's just slow this down. See Perez pushing me. He gets latched onto my rear end, just carries on pushing me rather than breaking like any sensible person would. 
nudges me into the inside wall. He then sort of gets away from me. Obviously, nothing I can do here. Back end's just spinning around all over the place. He tags me again. You better retire from this as well. Into the wall we go. That's uh, one wheel lost. Three wheels lost there. That is a huge one. Did one of the wheels near enough hit? We actually managed to rip some of them off the tethers. We actually managed to rip one of the wheels off the tethers. That is a humongous crash. But unfortunately, that is the first retirement of Jolian's Justice. I'm gutted. Luckily, we've got two more Grand Prix to go, and hopefully those can be better showings for myself. I just don't have any setups, but off we go then. And I'm down to last place, basically. I think we're literally... No, we are, I am actually last. As I haven't got ninth gear, remember that, Matt. Definitely cannot take that corner flat out, but we made a lot of positions back up. Back up into what? Near enough top to near enough top ten. Oh, completely bail out the final corner there. That is giving me an appalling run. Down towards the line there. So I think we've actually lost out on time thanks to that. But down towards the line we go. P12, unfortunately. The team are basically happy unless we qualify by P36, so that's alright. Just behind Sergio Perez there, my new arch nemesis in this crew. But look at that, how can they run 21 ones? That is ridiculous. Lewis Hamilton down in P5 there, a shock performance by him. Let's move on then into the Spanish Grand Prix, and hopefully we don't get taken out this time. Spanish Grand Prix after we lost out on all the points we could have had last time, but it's five lights. And away we go, and off to a fairly terrible start there. Felipe Massa has knobbed up Sergio Perez. An absolute treat, but we've got Hulkenberg going right around the outside there. Uh, down into the braking zone, just a wall of Formula One cars. Button's been tapped wide there, but I've gone right around his outside. That was incredible. Well, that was not exactly close. That was we made contact, but I've somehow come out alive. It's been a train wreck at the back. Just saw that on the mini map. And uh, now we just need to try and make up as many places as we can. Dive on Fernando Alonso in his home race. Have some of that, mate. And I'm into P8 we go now. Oh, we've got Valtteri Bottas just up ahead of me. Not for much longer, though, hopefully. Try and give him the squeeze over the curves. I'm into P7. And now we've basically just got the big boys left. Raikkonen, Vettel, Verstappen, Ricardo, Hamilton, and Rosberg. Oh, not in that order. The gap is actually coming down slowly but surely. You know, 23-4. I think that's fairly decent. They're fighting. The Red Bulls are fighting. This is my chance to swoop in. I'm over nine seconds ahead of my teammate as well. Yes. So we can be happy with P7 as we come through the final couple of corners. Got all of them still causing an absolute train. Trim that slightly. Oopsie daisy. Rosberg goes quickest still on the final lap of the race by over a second quicker than me. But P7. And we can somewhat be happy with that, I feel. Super driving, yep, definitely. Yep, Toto, very happy. I think, well, Mercedes, I don't think I've actually lost a race this season, which is a bit ridiculous. There we are then, P7. Six points on the board this episode, happy with that. But we now move to the golden jewel in the Formula One crown. It's time for Monaco, baby. Johnny and Palmer driver of the day, thank you very much. Oh no! You've got to be taking the... Oh my god, why F1? Why? Actually, this could be a good chance for me. As long as we whip out the wet setup. This could actually be a brilliant shot, to be honest with you. Let's move on to the Monaco Grand Prix. Anything can happen, especially when it's raining. We, we just keep it out of the walls, Matt. Keep it out of the walls and we're good. Walls. 
I'm taking this with not real much caution, but I like to think I was. Come on, full crank lock, full crank lock. The sweat mode going into this one is ridiculous. This is actually a ridiculously... Well, I keep saying ridiculous, but this is a stupidly good chance of a, a good result for me if it's raining. That's my way through. Oh, Hamilton's bottled it! Oh, nearly turned into early for tobacco. That is giving Hamilton. Just let him catch right back up with me. Come on. Short shift, short shift. You know what it's going to be? I think it's going to be pole! I think, yes, it is. Pole position for the Monaco Grand Prix. A 1 minute 26 0. I think. I was trying to get a lot more than that. But we. Oh, I cannot believe that. It's dry as well, so there's an odd bottle it, but it does mean the AI are OP again. I think we we just got to throw ourselves in at the deep end here. We have got to go for glory. It's five lights at the Monaco Grand Prix, and it's lights out, and away we go, and Hamilton's got off to a brilliant start, and that's enough from him. Down towards turn one. We hold on to the lead for now. That's really the most difficult bit of this whole Grand Prix, is holding on to the lead right at the very start, but a Mercedes versus a Renault, as I understand, massively. Oh, come on. oh, the flick spin! We've actually saved that, Jesus Christ, that is... I bottled that entirely there, but we've come out alive. We have somehow come out alive with that. And we are still in the lead, but now I've got all the AI all over me. Oh my god, the understeer. That has given Hamilton a brilliant chance. Go defensive. I'm not backing out of this, mate. Not happening. I'm going to do that. Go for the switch back. Give Hamilton a punt. Come on. Side by side, side by side. Ah! Come on, hold it right around the outside. Oh, no, no! Hamilton, come on! Come on, bail out, bail out, bail out. Come on, this has been the messiest lap. I'll accept a lot on this game, but I'm not accepting a two second penalty. For Hamilton being a spoon. But Hamilton now has the race lead and I need to just go for broke. Like, we cannot. We, I'm not losing this race. Like, I know I've just rewind and everything. But I'm not willing to lose this. Slice that. Hamilton's been hit by himself. That was incredibly dirty, but. I'm back to the least. So, oh, this has been the messiest lap anyone will ever see around Monaco, but a lot of controversy, I think it's safe to say, surrounding that. That's for the final corner now. We are going to come through to be the first Mercedes not to win, and we're going to win the Monaco Grand Prix as Jody and Palmer. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, we're on the side. And we're now back Comfortable, did it? That's that's your reasoning behind it. I love that. Joe taking what he deserves. The win at the Monaco Grand Prix. I cannot believe that. We've actually managed to win a Formula One race now already. And now let's take a look at the driver standings. 
Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship after an excellent result. Look at that, a British 1-2 in that race, but... Who was your driver of the day? I'm going to go for Marcus Ericsson. What? What? What made it? Ericsson came 18th. What's so impressive about that? I'm sorry. That is stupid. Look, we we won as Jolie and Palmer, and that is the not what the first or second race this season that Anthony Davidson hasn't given me driver of the day. But yeah, obviously surrounded that. There is the standings from that phase of the series overall. I will try and leave points overall on the video. I might leave them down in the description actually, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed episode 2 of Jolian's Justice. Do not forget to like, subscribe if you're new around here and you want to see more of this career mode, if you will. And I will see you guys next time for the Canadian Grand Prix. Uh, yeah.